hello, hello, my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl Lumi Love here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart from just the messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for the likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything's greatly appreciated, my loves. Let's go ahead and get into it. I had to figure out what deck we were going to use. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do us a general read. I was going to do more reads yesterday, but the energy was so stale. Like, from them two readings, that energy was so freaking strong and stale. And I was like, nah, nah. So, <laughs> a cleansing was in order. So, now we're going to start over today and see what we got going. So, all right. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> no cap. I was cleaning my decks and stuff before I read or whatever, and I shuffled the decks to get them ready to go so I can just pull them and read like I usually do. And this Three of Pentacles came up in three decks. So this Three of Pentacles has coming up three times. Let's go ahead and see what the Holy Spirit got to say about this because apparently I need to pick up on it. <laughs> All right. So we got some people that may have been working together against an independent, self-sufficient individual. Okay, because they maybe didn't want you to get this Ten of Pentacles. Now, these people wanted to kind of dirty up your image is what I'm hearing so that you wouldn't get this Ten of Pentacles. This could be generational wealth. Or what I'm getting is this could be some sort of, I'm hearing will. Somebody may have put you on their will. Somebody may have, you got some money coming to you. Someone sees it fit to give you money. It's like these other people that were working against you were telling maybe court, going actually going to court Telling people that you weren't fit, uh, you may like you like you may be you may be crazy, uh, you have anger issues, you on drugs, you don't take care of your child. Like this is what this person is saying about you, but everybody sees that you're innocent though. That's not you. So whoever these people tried to convince in the judicial system is really what I'm getting. Whoever they tried to convince, it's not working. But I'm getting these people are now running. Some of these people I'm hearing could have been served some subpoenas. These people are now running from the things that they said about you. yeah these people really see who you see you for who you are and they see that these people just wanted you to be left out in the cold without any money um or without moving forward some type of way this king of cups sees you as innocent who's this king of cups sheesh every dog on day it's King of Cups. So this is somebody who you don't like, you don't want to reconcile with, you don't want to deal with because this person was working against you with other people lying, okay? Now this person's being left out in the cold maybe from, uh, yeah, the person's being left out in the cold from this Ten of Pentacles and you're being recognized getting what it is that you deserve and this person wanted to rush in and bring you an offer and you ain't with the reconciling. You don't want to do that, okay? These people are just in your pocket. They're trying to find every way to get back under you, trying to get next to you. It's like they've been blocked out while you move forward, okay? And this person does not like that. They want to give you an opportunity, but it's not going to be an equal opportunity is what I'm hearing. They want to present you with an opportunity, but it could just be an illusion. Yeah, they're trying to send you some sort of message and contact you before you get this money so they can ride your coattail. This person has been very persistent in doing this, persistent in trying to get you to take them back, trying to get you to talk to them, trying to get you to deal with them. But you have your guard up to them because you know that they try to cause a bunch of bullshit with you and possibly that they're still working with other people against you right now to cause chaos. OK, I'm here and stick them up. This person could have been working with your family to try to rob you from whatever this Ten of Pentacles is. You know that this person was trying to see this person thinks he's being smarter than you. But it's not working. I guess at one point he thought he was smarter than you. But what I also am getting, even if he didn't think he was smarter than you, whatever, he thought he could pull one over on you. But this person is a very violent person. Yeah, this person, you may have had to fight this person in the past. Now this person is, have to, is having to fight. I don't know. Like, whatever they tried to do to you, if it was any abuse or whatever, they're receiving that back. Yeah, they're getting their ass beat or they always got to fight, always got to protect themselves. They're dealing with a loose cannon. They got to stand their ground. They want to come over to you because they didn't have to deal with all that. They felt like they're getting served exactly what they gave you. While you sitting pretty, sitting over here, <laughs> sitting pretty and looking good, okay? This person tried his best to defeat you. You know that. Five of Swords and then the King of Swords, Six of Swords, and that's why you moved over from this person. This person was very dominating. This person was abusive, dominating, 
they had a lot of other things going on with a lot of other people behind your back. Their, their main goal was just to hold you back. That was their main goal, was to possess you and hold you back. Okay, so basically, they wanted to go off and do whatever they wanted to do with everybody else out in the world, but they always wanted you back at home. They always wanted you there. So after they run amok with everybody else, they can come back to you. Now, why is that? You heal from whatever was attracting you to this person. So whatever karmic cycle that you were in when you were with this individual, you are no longer in that karmic cycle. This person is real mad about that because they can't talk to you. They can't approach you. They can't come in your energy. Oof. This person was trying to block your manifestations. And it went, it went them working. Okay, so they were trying to block your manifestations working with your family to do so. Working with maybe a group of people that you, when I say family, it could be a group of people that you know or new, you know, friends mixed with family members, whatever. People used to hang around. It could also, I'm hearing conglomerate. It could be a conglomerate of people. It could also be a, a community of people. Your hometown is what I'm hearing. Y'all put it where it go. It could be all of the above. <laughs> okay, but he was working with these people to try to take an opportunity from you. So it's pretty much like if these people were trying to blackball you in the community, he had something to do with it as well. Him and some female he was loving on, they both wanted to hold you back. I'm giving very much third-party energy off this Queen of Cups. <laughs> Give me some on this Queen of Cups. Yeah, they wanted to hold you back and cause an ending to you healing because they knew if you got out of that karmic energy, they wouldn't be able to touch you. I'm here and can't touch this because they wanted to cause some sort of illusion so that you wouldn't manifest what you wanted. But that magic got sent back to them. So whatever illusion they were trying to send you, it came back to them. Okay, you moved on to calmer waters from this king of cup, this queen of cups as well. She's a liar. She has no morals. She betrayed you, sabotaged you. How did she betray the collective? However, this woman betrayed you, you don't deal with her because she tried to sneak you in some sort of way. She tried to change your fate. <laughs> she wanted you upset because she wanted your, your I want to say your life, but let me be more specific. She wanted to take, if you had a love, take your man. If you had money, take your money. If you had a good image, take your image. This woman just wanted to take from you. She was very jealous of you. She tried to sabotage you, and she might have sabotaged you with this person. So this could have been the person in the family or, you know, in your group, social group or whatever, your community that used to know you and betrayed you right along with this masculine. Yeah, this is a person from your childhood, a person from your past. They uh, linked up. Oh, my, my, my. Yeah, they linked up and now their partnership falling apart because I guess they worked together to try to make that happen to you. Like I was looking over here when I laughed, this person, yeah, they wanted to cause you misfortune. They wanted you to feel stabbed in the back 10 times or more, okay? So this person could have been burning some candles trying to send a return to send and say 10, 10 times, you know, return to send a times 10, I'm hearing. And this bitch damn sure got her return to send a times 10 because that shit came on right back around the huff, okay? Yeah, she thought she had some hidden knowledge to try to bind herself to you so that she could keep this masculine because she already binded herself to him using some sort of witchcraft, like I said. And they wanted you and two minds juggling back and forth or I'm hearing they wanted, she wanted this man to be juggling both of y'all back and forth because she thought that that would hurt you. You may have given to this person, tried to take care of this person, but she thought that that would hurt you if she did that and now she's heavily burdened because she, she ain't got no relationship. This relationship that she was trying to hold on to thinking she was going to receive justice I'm talking about went off and got married. You hear me? Went off and got married to this person and now she can't sleep at night for, for shit for doing wrong. She's stressed, worried, and anxiety that this person's sneaking off with somebody else that they don't really feel... Oh, no. Sneak off with somebody else and they know the truth about what she's been doing behind their back. See, she's been around here sneaking and creeping and she's more so worried about this person finding out what she's doing because she know that he's going to run to you like a lap dog or she's going to lose control over this person I'm hearing, too. So she was doing the, mis the, 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 the I'm hearing Minecraft. That's crazy. She was doing the witchcraft to get the mask and she got the mask but she's scared now because she can't get away with her little secrets that she's been doing. Child, the secret is, hold on, give me some. <laughs> Give me some of this four swords, because hold it. What's this four swords? Huh, like I said, the child been sleeping around and caught a dog on STD. Yes, she did. And she was trying to do some sort of illusion. How she was going to hide an STD? Because I got to get into this. She was around here sneaking around. She caught some sort of uh, sickness. Okay, Holy Spirit said this might not necessarily be an STD. Now she might have contracted an STD. Let's not leave that out. 
but this also may be some sort of sickness within her intestines or her pelvic area or you okay oh whore my goodness yeah okay okay she wanted you to seem like you was a hoe and i guess she was trying to do something to get pregnant and she ended up getting sick she may have celebrated with a third party to try to get pregnant to try to blame it on this masculine to stop him from moving forward or looking for you to bring him back to her so yeah she might have had a baby okay i'm hearing out of wedlock what okay so she got pregnant before they even got married so they might have got married recently and she just popped out pregnant the due dates ain't matching i'm hearing phaedra parks i'm not saying it's phaedra but i'm just saying like that situation where they were saying it's not matching i don't know y'all somebody due dates ain't matching and they getting caught up they don't want to get a divorce from this masculine and they are suffering because they know that their household is about to be taken down but they wanted the same thing for you see these two individuals or this feminine wish that you would never have peace you wouldn't be with anybody anybody you get with your household will follow this masculine did it with her because he didn't want you going out to be with nobody else they wanted you to be miserable and paying attention to their relationship but no that's not happening now she's miserable and she's thinking that this man's coming back over to you okay so now we got to get into it because where this man at <laughs> okay so he got a side piece he's already juggling his side piece but you are still on his mind i'm here all the time all i do is think of you <laughs> every day and night something 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 uh what's that song y'all all i do is think of you day and night that's all i do that's what i hear I can't get you off of my mind. <laughs> Think about you all the time. So he most definitely, they were doing spells to make you think about them. He wanted to come back into your life. He wanted to to show up in your dreams he thinks about you constantly because he feels like he can manifest in your energy to get back in your energy he wants to he's begging and pleading he needs you he's heartbroken how could you move forward was this relationship ever real but this man is out here splitting himself between two other people again he is married now he want to claim he want to come over there and marry you okay let's talk about it y'all marriage is a business baby if this is a soul connection and you guys choose to get married then y'all will do it in a different way but if y'all just get married to do business that's what i'm hearing these people are getting married to do business it was about money what kind of money did these people think they were gonna get oh lord i heard sacrificial these people yeah they missed this opportunity <laughs> for a brand new cycle they might have been just trying to sacrifice you this person can't sleep they have insomnia okay if these people sleep in the same bed together they don't like each other she cry at night because he don't want to be in the bed with her he don't want to be with her plus she's nervous because she can't get away with the shit she was doing in the background what's going on with this secret this third party secret who is this emperor who she got married to okay so he also has a third party secret so these people have a, they're married, but they have an open relationship. He has a third party secret. Give me something on this Leo. This is someone he feels comfortable around. This might be a masculine energy. So this masculine has another masculine. This happened quickly. What? Give me, uh-uh. Give me someone that's not a source in this secret. He tried, okay, you know, he got a third party somewhere else. It could possibly be a masculine. But he wants to control you. That's his whole point is just try to control you because he doesn't want you to be able to get married or he feels like you're about to partner up with somebody or, you know, it's kind of like if you're not paying attention to me, then who you paying attention to? Well, so this person wants to come in and find out what it is that you're doing. They want to rush towards you and hurt you, though. So it's kind of like this person wants to come towards you as if, though, oh, I'm hurt. But in secret, they want to hurt you. They need money. So they feel like if they can get back up. <sighs> this line is like he about to betray the fuck out this lady. Even though his arm is wrapped around her. I'm telling you. He wants you. And then she putting herbs on the Man, get out. Look. She putting herbs and all this stuff. And dressing him up with the little flowers. Making he cute. But look at his face. Okay. So he pretty much wants to get you back up under him. So he can attack you. Yeah. I don't know why this little light be going in and out. Maybe it's my ring camera. Maybe it's Maybelline hell. Maybe it's witchcraft. We don't care. We just going to keep it going. I got other lights on. So if it cut off, y'all can still see what's going on. Okay, boo. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline. What do I be on? <laughs> 
Anyways, yeah, this man wanted to take an opportunity to come in and try to get some more money, dog. He wants to rush in towards you so he can handle you, control you, hurt you, all right? So he can have success. This man don't care about you. This man just sees you as an opportunity. He's desperate because he broke. Now, he, that don't mean he still don't want to sleep with you now. But it's kind of like if you don't take his offer the nice way, then he going to go the other way, you know? But then they kind of feel like, since you came out the Queen of Wands, they kind of feel like you have a King of Wands out here. They have been secretly spying, maybe so, because they know you have a new cycle coming, and that's why they want to stop it. Yeah, trying to get some hidden knowledge on this King of Cups so they can try to mess up, um, mess up what you got going on. But you're going to have this fresh start. You already know that. You're going to be with this masculine. Give me some on this world. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, it's kind of like they maybe have been spiritually spying and they can pick up in your energy that you care for someone or somebody cares for you for sure. Um, so they want to try to... This man know about these people? Does he know about that? He know you walked away from them because they wanted to trap you. So that's why he want to come bring you an offer and save you. They feel like you about to sneak off. So they want to try to stop you before you sneak off and get with this masculine. Uh, they looking back at everything they invested in to try to take take you over. Take over you is what I'm hearing. Or try to come to you. Whatever. They looking back at what all they invested in trying to get you to come here. To, to, to get you to pay attention to them. And it's not working. He feels like he tried everything he possibly had. And he can't figure out how he going to get this message to you. So maybe that's another reason why he want to hurt you. Because he didn't try everything he had. And spent all his money he had. Trying to send you a nice message of, hey, bae, I want you back. And you didn't want to be with this person. So now he feels like he want to attack you. But I feel like this other masculine that you're going to be getting in a relationship where he knows that you maybe have a crazy ex out here. I don't know if you know. You might have told him. Whatever. Maybe he. We're going to find out. Anyways, this person uh, looked at all what he invested into his love relationship that he is in. Or maybe, no, he looking at all they invested into trying to betray you, deceive you. And how you're still walking away because they have a stalemate. You're going to receive justice with this king of pentacles. This man going to be broke, busted, and disgusted because you're going to sneak off and get married. Or you're just going to go do your motherfucking thing. And it's not going to be their, their business. But also because this woman, this baby mama, he's upset because this bitch cheated on him. Okay, so he knows she cheated on him. I'm sorry. If, if I say this bitch is... I'm, I heard what he said. This bitch cheated on me. It, it just come out. I be trying to filter, but then I feel like I don't have to sometimes. But just to explain it, because I don't, I, don't, I don't know this feminine, but this is what he's saying. He's saying this bitch um, cheated on him and got pregnant by somebody else, like I said up there. Maybe he found that out. That's why he want to come back over here to you to hurt her, but he's still going to go back to her anyway. So he trying to put you in the middle of some baby mama, baby daddy drama. See, she, he is horrible. He feel like just because she went out here and got pregnant, he need to go out here and get somebody pregnant too. Child, ain't nobody finna be bothered up with that there. What did I want to find out? Because this a mess. Um, yeah, does the new masculine know about the ex, Holy Spirit? Yes or no? Does the new masculine know about the ex? Yeah, that man said the way you love on some anybody will be mad if you got away. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> that is too cute. And also because this masculine may have approached him and tried to get him to not talk to you, which is crazy. He want to build a foundation with you and get you out of whatever crazy cycle this is. You may have told him some things that could have happened to you or your vehicle or something that happened in your surroundings and this person was like oh yeah that's a crazy ass that's a crazy ass person i ain't gonna say what he said but that's a crazy ass person yeah that's why he want to bring you this love offer okay so this masculine uh your ex or whoever this crazy man is they got with this this person in your family or somebody you was cool with um, they know that this man want to come bring you an offer and they tried to tell him, oh yeah, nah, don't do that. You ain't going to be able to, um, you ain't 
you know, basically saying she, you are a whore or, you know, she ain't good for nothing. Nah, you ain't gonna want to be with her, bro. He found out that the man was going so hard on it because he really want to be with you. He want to partner up with you. And I guess after this masculine lay with you, he pretty much figured like, oh, hell yeah, anybody you ain't dealing with no more will be mad. So this man is in two minds because he knows that he couldn't lie to this other masculine to make him not want to be with you. And y'all gonna move forward. And it kind of helped your situation out because he see how crazy this man over is over you. So he know, oh yeah, she she she's that for real. Oh, yeah, you're innocent and you're being recognized for being so. And your spiritual, if you have spiritual gifts, it's not gonna stop him from wanting to talk to you because maybe that's the same thing everybody like to say that you're the devil, you're some sort of witch. And you're not, okay? So this relationship is gonna be nice for you, boo. Mm -hmm. all right y'all this is it this is all let me clear the table off we'll do us some energy reads okay so if you like this one come meet me in the next one